Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome to Risky Behavior. I am your host, Shmelly, and this is Risky News. Risky Behavior. Today, I got a question. Is the rejection of a proposal grounds for ending a relationship? Meaning, you meet someone, you're dating, you're in a relationship, you're enjoying them, and you think to yourself, well, hey, I, I would like you to be my partner for life i would love to marry you and so you go out you buy a ring you pick a time you pick a place try to make it romantic you get down on one knee and you say hey will you marry me and she says no no well that's what happened in the news um the news report that we're about to listen to is um, a man by the name of Jason Eden asked his girlfriend to marry him. And for him, this was a deal breaker. And he decided to end the relationship permanently because uh, he took her out and not like on a date. No, he he took her out. So let's go ahead and um, jump into this news report. As a mother of two, she was a grandmother, and she was loved by her neighbors. I gotta rewind it. About when a Greensburg, well, he wanted to marry her, but when a Greensburg woman denied her boyfriend's proposal, police say he shot and killed her. Yeah, this is such a tra tragic story unfolding this morning in a small town. Naomi Peskovitz is in studio with what the man told police right after it happened. Naomi? And Scott and Julia, Wendy Sabatini's boyfriend walked into a Greensburg police station telling police he simply messed up. 44-year-old Sabatini was a mother of two. She was a grandmother, and she was loved by her neighbors. But she would not agree to marry her boyfriend, 43-year-old Jason Eaton. Eaton confessed that he thought he had killed his girlfriend after he approached her with an engagement ring, and she said no before he could even ask. The couple worked together on the third shift at a Greensburg auto parts maker, and this has left all of their co-workers stunned. The community says the couple was always eager to help around the neighborhood, volunteering their own time to help with yard work. Those neighbors are now struggling to understand how this could have happened. I just think it was an accident myself. I really do. They got along. They, they were good together. They just, I just think it was an accident. I'm devastated. Something like this don't happen in our small town. And I think the whole neighbors are numb. And another tragic part of the story, Sabatini's son actually came home from school later that day. He was eating dinner, thinking that his mom was just at work. But when police arrived, they found her upstairs. Jason Eden right now is in the Decatur County Jail. He is facing a charge of murder. Oh, it's so tragic. Yeah. So tragic. And to hear that he came forward and admitted it, of course, they still have to investigate. But at least that's what we know so far this morning. All right, Naomi, thanks. Her about when a Jason Eden. And there you have it. There you have it. Very, very, very sad story. Um, as you can hear from the neighbors, um, one neighbor said she, she thinks it was an accident, whatever. Um, I'm not sure about that. I think the saddest part of this story is that you had a son that was downstairs eating food and the whole time his mom was upstairs dead. And it's another thing that I want to point out is that if your reaction to being rejected is to murder a person then you are absolutely the type of person that a person should not want to marry because I mean I think um, a person that is got their mental together healthy would have just taken a step back and maybe you know say, you know try to because I I feel like um, one time I read that um, Denzel Washington, he asked his wife to marry him three times before she finally married him. Um, sometimes people don't say yes to the first um, proposal. A lot of times people believe like it's like the movies where you just ask and the person says yes and all your family and friends there. But no, there's a lot of people that are married that, you know, um, if they tell you their story, they would let you know that. No, Um I'm married now. My wife didn't always want to be married, you know, so um, marriage is uh, it's a journey. Um, it's not something that anybody should just um, rush into. 
And so I would hope and think that if a person was denied, you know, if he asked her, you know, hey, would you like to marry me? I would think the first thing that he would do is see the reasons why and if it can be worked through. Um, Obviously, he was upset and he lost his temper. Also, I wanted to add that in the news report, it was said that he was denied before even presenting her with the ring. So it's, it was like she knew what his plan was and she just hurried up and shut him down. Right. And so it seems like to me that he was in a relationship with the woman and the relationship really wasn't going as well as it might have been going on in his head. And he probably missed a lot of different cues um a lot of different signals she was sending at him that you know hey this relationship isn't ready for marriage and um it seems like he was kind of jumping the gun and he got turned down and he just couldn't handle it you know and and a lot of times rejection you know when people can't deal with it, it a lot of times it comes from insecurity people feel um embarrassed and they just get upset and they lose control it's very sad it's very unfortunate A good thing is, is that he turned himself in and he made a full confession. The good thing is, is that he turned himself in and he made a full confession. I don't know. Y'all get in the comments. Let me know what y'all think is the rejection of a proposal grounds for terminating a um, relationship and not just the murder part. I'm just saying, um, would you dump the person, break up with them or anything like that? Um, Very sad story. Um, Even listening to this, it's kind of put me in a bad mood, honestly, because I'm thinking about her son being downstairs, not even knowing that. His mom is upstairs and and dead the whole time. It's it's just sad to me. Anyway, um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Be sure to like and share the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, Also, I want to do a shout out to my boy, the Prince of Petty, who shared this um, story with me. I'm going to make sure that I put his information in the description box. I appreciate you all. Risky out. Risky behavior.